So we're gonna start off by, so guys, in this video, I'm just gonna talk about how I got Delta miles with credit cards and how I redeemed them for flights and how much value I've gotten from that, okay? So without further ado, let's just get started, all right? So I started by applying for the Delta Amex gold card, all right? That was the card I applied for and it had a zero dollar first year annual fee. So like that card didn't cost me anything. I can add that here zero dollar annual fee okay it didn't cost me anything so that card was free all right so i applied and i got approved and that card got me a 200 dollar flat credit okay i could spend 200 dollars on delta for absolutely free right so i applied for that card in early july and on july 20th i had the card in my hand and i booked the flight from san antonio to fort lauderdale with a layover in detroit and it cost me $208. So I used those $200 credits. So that flight net cost me $8. I paid that out of pocket. The credit here got reapplied there later. All right. Plus dollar back. Okay. And I even got 800 miles for that. Okay. That was my first little free flight in this calculation. Then... I got 1,200 card spent miles. It's not that much, but I'm just going to mention that here. So for every dollar you spend, you get one mile on all purchases. If it's like, a, uh, I think like a Delta purchase for every dollar you spend, you get two miles and so on. You can look that up online. Okay. But that's just normal card spend. This is what that is. All right. And then on September 19th, I flew from Linate, Italy. So that's Milano, Milano, Linate to Amsterdam to Frankfurt. Okay. And that itinerary, this little itinerary, which cost me about 100 euros, that got me around 300 miles. Okay. Just so you know, if you fly from Milano to Frankfurt in coach, in economy class, you get about 300 miles. Just so you know how you would earn miles. And yeah, that card didn't only have the $200 flight credit, it also had a sign up bonus of 72,000 points, all right? 70,000 points. But in order to get that, of course, you need to spend $1,000 or, or 1,500, I'm not sure, but I think it was a thousand. So until I had that money spent, um, it was August 29, okay? And then I got my 72,000 70, Bonus points, sign up bonus, Delta Amex Gold, okay? That brought my Delta Miles account to 70,000 miles, okay? So when I applied for the card in July till August, late August, when I had my sign up bonus, you know, I flew a bit, I used the 200 credit, and I had 72,000 miles, 70, miles in my Delta account, okay? More or less. Again, I earned some miles here, some card spent miles, like a thousand something, but about 70,000 miles, okay? Now, let's look at my first real redemption, guys. On October 31st, 2021, I booked my first redemption. It was a flight from JFK to Las, in to Las Vegas, okay? That cost me 7,000 miles. I booked it in basic economy. I booked it in basic economy, okay? That's non-upgradable. Make sure that you, if you want an upgrade, don't book basic economy because you cannot upgrade these, okay? Even if they give you a free upgrade, if you have status, if you book basic economy, you can't upgrade those, okay? If you want it in an upgradable category, you would have to spend around 40k thousand for main cabin, or if you want to book business straight away, it's going to be around 37k for business, okay? And so on. So if you want the chance of that up on that upgrade, don't spend 7,000, spend 14,000. And you can get that flight upgraded if they upgrade you, okay? You'd also pay $16 in tax. That's what you just pay. So you pay the 7,000 miles and the $16 in tax, okay? People always say free flights. Now it's not free. You just pay miles and you still pay like your taxes, but they're really low compared to what you see in Europe. So that was my first redemption, JFK to Las Vegas. And that flight would have cost me around $100 in value, okay? So I got around $100 value from this flight. Good. Let's keep looking at my next redemption. Yeah, keep climbing, by the way. Keep climbing. Um, on October 31st, 
I booked an itinerary from Las Vegas to Salt Lake City to San Antonio. That was for Thanksgiving. I booked it October, late October, 8,000 miles. That was also like, uh, I think, $150 value and also the $16 in taxes. Then on November 23rd, I, I was on this first time in Vegas trip. Um, this is first time first time in vegas vlog all of this can be seen in my first time in vegas vlog as well if you want to see that trip you can see that anyway i shortened the trip because i spent too much money in vegas so i wanted to go home and it was like i booked it like a few days before leaving so i found something from houston to paris and then i could ryanair my way over i think i even flew uh, air france that cost me fifty-five thousand miles and 22 dollars and it's amazing with delta you can really fly to europe with paying really low taxes this is super low tax okay compared with lufthansa you pay like hundreds so that flight had a high value, okay? If I would have booked that outright, it would have been like a thousand five hundred. Oh my God, oh my God. It would have been a thousand five hundred dollars in value, okay? So that's really good, if, if not more. Um, so yeah, then on January 1st, 2022, I flew from Romania, Bucharest to Amsterdam and it got me 270 miles, okay? Just so you have a feeling again, that flight was around 129 euros, okay? That's what I spent on that. Um, then I applied around here, I applied for the American Express gold card as well, okay? The rose gold card. I had to spend some money for the sign-up bonus and I got the sign-up bonus and I transferred 64,000 miles over to Delta, okay? So we have another 64,000 plus here, Amex transfer, okay? And now I went on my next trip in February 4th. I booked it. I booked a few things. I canceled them, but I hope I didn't forget anything here. I booked the first flight from Las Vegas again to LAX, okay, for 5,000 miles. That flight again will have cost me around $100 or euros. Nowadays, it's the same. So that was a value. I think it was 129 also and $16. And then I booked um, my itinerary on March 12th to go back home. LIX Charles de Gaulle to Frankfurt for 40,000 miles and $23. That again, that would have been like a, I don't know, like a 1,800 euro dollar value right there. And then I booked that last itinerary shortly, a few days later. I forgot to put the date there. From Las Vegas to Seattle and from Seattle back, sorry. Yeah, from Las Vegas to Seattle, Seattle, Las Vegas. And that would have been a $400 itinerary. So we have a $400 value here, okay? And that pretty much used up all my miles and now I'm left with 2,000 miles today. So yeah, I have a plan to increase these again, but right now I have to pay off balances. Amex is not gonna give me any offers because I still have some money on the cards which I haven't paid yet. As soon as I pay them back, I phone them up, I'll get points, okay? So if we just look at the value, what this card gave me plus the other one by the way the other one had a, this card right here had this was the amex gold okay it has a few benefits but it has a 250 dollars annual fee okay so yes that cost me 250 dollars but still i didn't redeem all my points okay it was like eighty thousand points or something so Let's look at it. Zero dollar card, two hundred dollar value, two hundred dollar value plus a hundred dollar value. So that's three hundred dollars value already. Um, three hundred, four hundred fifty dollar value plus one thousand. So that's two thousand dollars in value. Um, two thousand one hundred, three thousand eight hundred. So like four thousand dollars. So in total, we got around four thousand five hundred dollars in value. Okay, we can deduct this annual fee minus AF, but that's still like 4,100, 4,100 in value, okay? Not considering any other benefits like baggage allowance and so on, okay? Just the flight prices. That's a pretty good deal right there, just for applying for two credit cards, don't you think? So yeah, if you want to learn more about credit cards, that was my first video. I could have like 
made it nicer. I could have, that was my first video. I could have made it nicer, you know, with the PowerPoint and animations and whatever. I did that. I filmed it. I wanted to overlay it with Photoshop, but it was too much work. This would be much quicker. So I hope you like this video. If you want to learn more about that kind of stuff, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.